Hello and this is Shane from Tweaking.com. Today I'm going to show you how to restore your registry uh, through Windows XP if, if the system's unbootable. Uh, if you've been using the Tweaking.com registry backup program. Uh, in this case we're going to use the Windows XP recovery console. So I've loaded up VMware so I can show you how to do this and here we've already had the recovery console set up. Now one thing about the recovery console is uh, with XP is it is extremely limited, extremely limited. And so what that means is, is there's not a whole lot that it can do. Uh, and by default, it doesn't allow you to get to the reg backup folder because it's not inside the Windows folder. And by default, it locks you out. So if I try to go in there now, you'll get access denied. One, now to overcome this, when you run the backup on the program, it automatically puts in a registry key that tells Windows to allow the set command. And what that means is we can do this. Set allow all paths equals true. Now we have permission to enter the backup folder like we need. And there we go. So now we're going to go here. And the backup how it stores is this is the computer name for this test machine. So we're going to go inside here now. You think I would have been smart enough to shorten the computer name for this, but no. All right, inside here, uh, we're going to choose which backup folder we want. In this case, we're going to choose the later one. So we're going to go into first one here. And now that we're inside here, we're going to see a DOS restore command. Now with the XP recovery console, we have to call that file with the batch command. And that's it. It's now putting the files back to where they belong and we'll reboot and it's good to go. Now one of the things to, to realize with the XP Recovery Console is that it doesn't support any if exists commands or anything. So the path of Windows is hard coded into there. So for any reason uh, Windows is not showing up on the proper drive, in this case C, that batch file will not work. In that case, using a live CD um, option, which I'll have a video for, will be the best way to go. But in this case, as you see, we're all done and we hit exit. And that's it. Systems restored. Hope this was helpful. Take care.